Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to capture webhook response in Google Sheets. So my objective is that, that whenever a new response is going to be captured in my webhook and how we're going to capture the response, for that we will be using webhook by Pabli. So suppose you are using the application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So to create the native integration, we are using webhook by Pabli. So with the help of webhook by Pabli, whenever a webhook response is going to be captured, automatically I want to create the record of that response in my Google Sheets. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Webhook by Pabli and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to capture Webhook responses in Google Sheets. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new webhook response is going to be captured in our Pabli Connect, automatically the details of that response should be added into my Google Sheets. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation with Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. After that, Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as how to capture webhook response in Google Sheets is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I want to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down arrow. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Google Sheets Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of how to capture webhook response in Google Sheets and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that. Click on this arrow right over here. And for the trigger application over here, we are going to select it as Webhook by Pabli. We are selecting our trigger application as Webhook by Pabli. So suppose you are using an application in your trigger step that is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So with the help of Webhook by Pabli, you can create the native integration between the application and Pabli Connect so that a Webhook response can be captured in our trigger step. And for the trigger event over here, we are going to select it as Catch Webhook Recommended. Okay. After that over here, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with the Webhook URL. With the help of this unique Webhook URL, we are going to create the native integration between the application that is not natively integrated with public in it to public in it. Okay. So for that, firstly, we get to copy this webhook URL from here. After that, we follow the steps given here below in order to connect public connect with the application. Okay. So for the application, I'm going to be taking an example of public form builder. Pabli form builder does have the native integration with Pabli connect but for all of you guys I'm taking this application as an example so that you can connect webhook by Pabli to this application right over here okay so how are you going to add the webhook for that you can first open the application so I've taken the application as Pabli form builder so I have opened my Pabli form builder right over here as you can see and now to add the webhook we have to click on integrations from the left side of our screen right over here as soon as you get to do that the webhook page is going to appear in front of you on which you have to click on create webhook right over here. A new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for us to add a webhook. So I'm going to paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us and then I'm going to click on save right over here. As you can see over here the webhook is added successfully to our Pabli form builder right over here. Okay. 
So if I'm going to take you back to my workflow that I've created over here, now it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a dummy test submission of the form that I've created with the help of Pabli Form Builder and we're going to check whether the webhook response is captured in our workflow that we are creating or not. For that, firstly, we have to open the form that you have created with the help of Pabli form builder as you can see this is my form that I've created with the help of Pabli form builder and we're going to do a test submission of this form right over here for that click on share right over here then copy this link from here and open this link in a new tab right over here so you can see this is the form that I've created with the help of Pabli form builder and by filling the form and submitting it we are going to do a test submission okay firstly it is asking for the first name for the first name over here I'm going to select it as smart for the last name over here I'm going to select it as account 01 for the email over here i'm going to select it as smart account 01 at the rate publicutes.com and for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after that i'm going to click on submit to do a test submission as you can see that over it says your message has been received successfully so this means that we've done the test form submission successfully so now i'm going to open my workflow that i've created with public and i'm going to check whether the response of this dummy submission is captured in our webbook or not for that i'm going to open my workflow and yes as you can see right away we have received a webbook response right over here if you're going to tally the response for the first name as smart last name is account 01 email as smart account 01 at the rate publicutes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number and all the other details so this means that we fully set up our trigger step right over here as we have captured the webhook response we want to create a record of that response in our google sheets so what we are going to do is we're going to set up our action step and for the action application over here we are going to select it as google sheets so we're going to select our action application as google sheets and for the action event as add new row because we want to create a record of our webhook response in our google sheets that is why we're selecting our action event as add new row and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect google sheets with pabli connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection and then you have to click on sign in with google as soon as you go to click on sign in with Google, a new window is then going to appear, which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow. As you see, process my data is perfectly saved with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on allow right over here. As you can see that we successfully authorized Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. After authorizing over here, it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet. So I've created a spreadsheet over here to create the record of my webhook response in the name of webhook responses right over here. For the spreadsheet over here, I'm going to select it as webhook responses. Next over here it is asking for us to select the sheet. So I've created a single sheet in the name of sheet 1 as you can see right over here. So for the sheet over here I'm going to select it as sheet 1. Next over here it is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number. Okay. So I've created 4 fields in my spreadsheet in the name of first name, last name, email and the phone number. So these are the same fields that I've created in my spreadsheet right over here. And for the details of these fields right over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this automation workflow. And and how we're going to map the data for that click on this field right over here as soon as you go to click on the field you can see this was the previous step of this automation process if you go to click on this arrow you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step okay as over here it is asking for the first name i'm going to select the data for the first name from our previous response and as i map the data right away what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically in place of this mapped data the new data is going to be updated okay next it is asking for the last name we are going to map the data for the last name over here so i'm going to map the data for the last name next it is asking for the email so i'm going to map the data for the email right over here i'm going to map it and lastly it is asking for the phone number so i'm going to map the data for the phone number right over here okay so i'm going to map the data as I mapped all the data right over here, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically in place of these mapped data, the new data is going to be updated. After filling all the details, we're going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you're going to do that, a response is going to be received and the response that you're going to receive is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I've created with the help of Google Sheets and I'm going to check whether the record of my webhook response is captured in my spreadsheet or not. For that, I'm going to open my spreadsheet. And yes, as you can see right away, the record of my webhook response is captured in my spreadsheet. For the first name as smart, last name as account 01. Email as smart account 01 at the rate fabletudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number. So this means that we successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for it, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another test submission and I'm going to check whether the response of our webhook is captured in our Google Sheets or not. For that, I'm going to do another form submission. This is the link of my form. I'm going to copy this link 
link from here i'm going to paste the link in a new tab and i'm going to open the form right over here so this is the form that i've created is asking for the first name last name email and the phone number so i'm going to fill in all the details as you can see that I filled in all the details of so the first name as test, last name as user123, email as testuser123 at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on submit to do a test submission. So as you can see over here, it says a message has been received successfully. So now I'm going to open a spreadsheet that I've created with the help of Google Sheets. And I'm going to check whether the webbook response is captured in my spreadsheet or not. For that, I'm going to open my spreadsheet. And yes, as you can see right away, the webbook response is successfully captured in our spreadsheet. For the first name as test, last name as user123, email as test user123 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number, dummy mobile number. So this means that we successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, my objective was that, that as soon as a webhook response is going to be captured in our Pabli Connect automatically, a record of that webhook response should be created in my spreadsheet, in my Google Sheets. For that what I've done is I've simply created an automation between webhook by Pabli and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect and this is how we create this amazing automation so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of public connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support at the rate public.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching